Okay. Nuts are sweet, apparently. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Have you? Have you uh, well, they're, they're, they're more sort of salty, uh, savior, or sa sa yeah. savory, 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 savior. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my TVR wedge at an M3 junction, but the TVR is not the star of the show today. Today I'm meeting again with VTSV and his Mark I Lamborghini Gallardo. And I will be spending the day with it. We're going to Brooklyn's again for a car show. It's a classic breakfast meet. It's not really a classic car. This Is this a classic car? I guess it kind of is. The MG would be best suited, but uh, they said Lamborghinis, Ferraris, all welcome as well. Now I had a wacky idea. I ooh. Now I had a wacky idea, I uh, just got off the phone to Sean, he said he's going to be a bit late, so I'm going to go to the bridge over the top of the M3, leave my car parked some double yellows because that's just very sensible, and see what cars I can spot. Just saw a yellow Porsche 911 Turbo on this very roundabout, so hopefully we'll be able to see some more stuff whilst we're waiting. I just saw my brother, he just drove fast, he's on his way to work, he has no idea what I'm doing. Here. He looks really confused. Hopefully we can spot Sean as he comes up the slip road. Is that a Gallardo I can see there? I think it is. Oh, it's got a Ford Mustang behind it. So here he is. I don't think I caught him arrive because my camera keeps playing up today. Hello! So here is Sean, and here is Mark One Gallardo, looking <laughs> sweeter than nut. Like, nuts are sweet, apparently. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Have you? Have you? Uh, well, they're, they're they're more sort of salty, uh, savior or sa sa yeah. savory, savory, savory. Savior. <laughs> it's um, early in the morning. Hey, who's counting? I'm running late because I had to fill up yet again. Yeah, I am running low on petrol because I didn't want to be late, so I didn't fill up. But oh well, contrasting. Stories, ideas, ideas, yeah. ideas and stories. Well, let's hit the road. We need to, go. We need to, we need to get there because we're, we're late. So we'll get some motorway flybys, I'm sure, of the Gallardo. I'll show you it in more detail once we're there. Yeah, leaves fall in autumn. Right, let's go. <laughs> Jaguar F type going the wrong way. Tesla. Whilst he's saving the environment, I'm killing it! <laughs> Childish behaviour! Uh, here's a, something I've noticed. Everyone stops at the side of the Lamborghini and takes pictures and looks at it. Seems every single car that goes past Sean slows down to a crawling place next to it just so they can have a look. Which is to be expected, it is a Lamborghini and, well, makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> but it must be such a surreal experience for Sean to have that. I don't think he quite likes the attention yet. He's not used to it. Wow, it's getting foggy. It's meant to be sunny today. Oh yeah, we're in England, forgot. Sorry. This meet we're going to, the Autumn Classic Breakfast Meet, it's, uh, well, normally it's foggy. <laughs> Last year it was foggy. This year, it's foggy. Oh, the ground's very slippery, I need to be careful. Short shifting is the way forward to save my life, save my car, more importantly. I'm gonna put my headlights up, boom! Yes. Wow, it's so, it's like it's been raining, but it hasn't, it's just the fog. The fog has created a ridiculously wet surface. So short shifting, that GT86 might have similar problems. Whereas the Lamborghini Gallardo, it's got four-wheel drive. However, as most sports cars with four-wheel drive, it's got a rear-wheel drive bias, so it's not gonna be 50-50, it's more like 70-30. Uh, a lot of cars have a kind of switch between them, so when you need the rear-wheel drive, it will give more bias to the rear, but cruising, normal cruising, it will give a bit more front to the front. I know that Sean Skyline does that. Uh, I'm not sure about the Gallardo. I've got a feeling it's it's pretty neutral standard. It will be interesting to see how many Lamborghinis are there. 
I reckon Sean's one might be one of the only ones, if not the only one. Because, as I said before, it's a classic breakfast meat for classic cars. Like, even this, I feel like, is pushing it. Oh, I know where we are. We're basically here. I'll go this side. Oh my god, there's a cobra behind! Yay, there's a cobra behind! Will we not be parking together? Parking supercars in a separate area. Supercars in a separate area? Oh. Oh. You're gonna beat me! Ah, I'm gonna win! <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven DeLoreans. Including a black one. Oh! Another wedge! Can I park next to my friends? Well, I'm next to Sean, that's good. Didn't think that would actually happen. Look at that! So we have parked up, we managed to get next to each other, which is great. I'll show you a little bit of the Glado, then we'll go have a look around some of the cars. I'm really eager to see what that wedge looks like. Mm, it's an yeah. unusual colour, isn't it? What's that? What's, yeah. what's that? Champagne gold? That's champagne gold. That was like champagne green. Cobra! So today I am in my element. Cobras everywhere! Let's go cobra hunting. I really want to find as many as possible. <laughs> this one's amazing, it's got a hard this is probably top. probably one of the best ones I've seen. Look at that. Wow, he's got the fillet cap up in the roof. Oh, you can see the. Yeah. Oh, look what I found. Another wedge. Oh, can I buy your splitter off you? Oh, look, he shares the same. Uh, the same optional extra, the oh, leaves. Oh, oh yeah, the leaves. Yeah, the leaves. Yeah, I went for that spec. Yeah, clearly. Not, one, yeah. Not. Um, it's been painted. <laughs> what? There's, there's no... What is life? <laughs> That's like painting a carpet, you just don't do it. <laughs> you change the carpet. <laughs> now I'd like to cater for all audiences, so here is an S14 Sylvia. Oh yes! Yes! If you're more like it, yes. We like these. Yes! <laughs> So welcome to the famous embankment of Brooklands, and just to show you how steep it really is, um, it's quite uh, slippery as well. <laughs> um, does it look like a wall yet to you? Because it feels like a wall to me. Like in this slipperiness, this is as far as I want to go. But keep going. Keep going. No. Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Okay, yeah, that's good. <laughs> People are going to think that I'm your carer. <laughs> that's fine. So the cars are now going up the hill. I didn't know that this was possible. I would have signed up, but look, the Tasman Wedge is going up. system that was on my TLC. Oh no! Oh, oh dear! 
Oh no. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. She's dropped water or oil. Oh, you could tell it wasn't going well here. She, she was still going for it. She was smiling. Well, not anymore. She's not smiling now. Oh, Sean, you've, you've grown so much. So that was pretty much it for the show. We've uh, passed up here. Well, there's still parks up here. Well, the last one's here. Basically, there's a couple of metros and capris in the background. Uh, everyone's gone home. We're always the last one to, to leave. But uh, yeah, I think the fact that Sean brought his fairly modern Gallardo to a classic car show, what that basically meant is he got just tons of crowds asking questions, kids sitting in it, and it got tons of like great feedback. So, uh, yeah, you don't need a classic car to attend a classic car show, obviously. I think we're going to go gate crash DDM Historic's house now, see if he's home. Uh, trouble with breakfast meets is it's just morning meets, and then what do you do in the afternoon? I want to go to London, but Sean doesn't, so. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. This will look around at the car show. You can get